All night right here in Detroit, a special event is happening to honor the man considered the godfather of Detroit jazz. That's it's right. the first Marcus Belgrave scholarship fundraiser featuring Marcus Gra Belgrave's wife, Joanne Belgrave, uh, tonight and tomorrow night at 7 p.m. It will also include some of Marcus's protégés. This is going to be phenomenal. That's I loved right. his music, an awesome artist. This is amazing. So Joan Belgrave joins us now live in studio. Thank you so much for being here. You're welcome. Yeah. It's a pleasure. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so yeah. Mike had nothing but good things to say Come about on. your I'm, late husband. I, I, I love jazz. My first relevant going out experience is I love live music. Okay. And to have him in town when I was a young guy and see him perform, at the old mantra when it was a heart mm -hmm. plaza still. Right. I mean, that was, the energy was out cold. One of my great friends is Shahida Nurulai. Okay. And she speaks so highly of Mr. Brograve. Uh, he's an awesome artist. He's yes. an iconic figure. Thank you, yes. thank you. Yeah, he spent 50 years in Detroit cultivating young musicians. Mm -hmm. um, so I felt that it, it was very important to continue his tradition. Right. And when the Kresge Foundation came to me and wanted to do a tribute, I thought, you know what, let's make it a little bit more than a tribute. Let's make it something that is sustaining and that will continue his legacy. So I decided to start the scholarship fund. Mm -hmm. okay. So that, that will be tomorrow night, and we'll have uh, some of his protégés, Jerry Allen, who's a <laughs> Guggenheim fellow, Kareem Riggins, who is with Common, Diana Krall, mm -hmm. Paul McCartney, um, James Carter. James uh, Carter. James Carter. You're talking some Racy greats. Biggs, mm -hmm. who's with Kim. Racy. Uh, Dwight Adams, who's with Stevie Wonder. All of these guys, uh, Galen McKinney uh, on drums. Amazing. It, it's going to be a phenomenal, I'll be singing, of course, but it, it will be a, a wonderful, wonderful um, show. It's just going to be a love fest. It sounds incredible. Yeah, yeah. So we're, we're looking forward to it, and we're looking for forward to, to continuing what he did. Last year, I sponsored, not I, but the Jazz Development, jazz development um, um, Workshop sponsored two young Detroiters to go to a week-long all-female jazz camp. Wow. wow. Um, not only the tuition, but their airfare. Wow. Uh, I rented uh, uh, instruments for the bass because wow. she had, two days before we got ready to go, she said, Miss Belgrave, I can't afford to take my bass on the plane. Wow. So I want to be able to continue to do those types of Very things important. because those mm -hmm. are, those are um, situations that young people don't traditionally have available. Right. You know? mm -hmm. And one of the things that Marcus um, really felt was that a young person's uh, uh, learning a musician doesn't just happen in college. It right. happens right. next to masters. It happens right. on the bandstand. Right. It happens in situations where they can do one-on-one, -on -one, mm -hmm. you know, with mm -hmm. them. So you have to be a well-rounded musician. And right. you guys are creating spaces for that to happen. Right. What does it mean to you to carry on that legacy? <sighs> you know, um, I, I felt I have to do it. I mean, there's, I just, it's something that I have to do. We're doing a work, a free workshop tomorrow morning at the Car Center, which was, he was the artist in resident there. Right. And that's where we hold a lot of our, our lessons. And, and it's just something, you know, it's a Detroit thing. That's to all I can, can say. To I, go to, I go to other cities yeah. And, yeah. And, and, you know, there's like, there's this competitiveness. Right. But here mm. in Detroit, we we help each other. Family. We, family. Mm -hmm. Family. Right. right. Yes. Yeah, so and you, you seem so together. passionate about it that's too, it. and that's yeah. what excites the whole jazz community. I mean, yeah. we have a great jazz community in, in, in town. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, Girl. Motown was built on yeah. jazz musicians. Right. Marcus was one of those right. funk brothers. He was one of those musicians. Right. And so, mm. if you look at well, you know, look at today. Look at a lot of the artists that are getting Grammys have jazz that's in right. there. Right. So, yeah. I mean, if you can do jazz, you can do anything. Anything. Okay. Right. Well, anything. Speaking of, you're going to sing for us, aren't you? I am. Thank you. All right. So, what are you going to sing? I'm going to sing a song that I wrote for Marcus. Okay. Um, it's called Excitable. Okay. Oh, okay. So I'm let's, excited. That's so let's, thank you. Hot. So again, it's the first Marcus Belgrave scholarship fundraiser featuring Joan Belgrave herself and it happens at the Wright Museum in Detroit tomorrow night at 7 p.m. and will also include some of Marcus's protégés. Protégés and we're really excited. Now here is Joan Belgrave let's singing go. the song she wrote All for Marcus. Right. This, is, this is gonna be nice. do to me so excitable how you set me free the more I do the more I see so excitable to me oh it's frightable that this life could be so excitable
what a joy for me. You've opened eyes that could not see. So excitable to me. the band tell yes. everyone who we have here Absolutely. with a special Kassan Belgrave on yes. alto okay okay Ibrahim Jones on bass yes and Ian Finkelstein on piano and they wonderful. are all protégés of Marcus wonderful wow. wonderful yes. tell us about the event one more time tomorrow night tomorrow night seven o'clock at the Charles H Wright Museum and um, tickets are on www.marcusbelgrave.com or joanbelgrave.com and wonderful. we would love to see you out there wonderful thank Amazing. you so, so much, much.